so cute. So cute. Yeah. Uh, Clean Evo. <laughs> Reach out to your J fans. All right, here we go. What's going on, guys? Caesar Media here today. I am with my friend Patrick Chan in his ridiculous GTR, which was previously owned by Paul Walker, apparently. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit, of, a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so Paul Walker and Roger Rodas uh, both owned a shop in California called Always Evolving. Yeah. And Always Evolving owned had this car as a shop car. Uh, there's videos online of Paul Walker driving this at, uh, I think, Willow Springs. Chris, the owner before me, bought it bone stock, just had wheels on it, uh, some pretty ugly BBSs. Right. And then he, I think within a week, he sent it off to English Racing to get a uh, full twin turbo kit from ETS. Right. Um, so right. GT35Rs, 4.1 liter, triple pumper. Yeah, so it's got the whole deal. Right, fully built, high Trans horsepower. built, so uh, PPG gears, all, all one through six, built rear diff. So I can launch it, but I just rather not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You never know. You never, know. especially coming from the Evo world. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. So you look at the boost gauge. Yeah. So I just hold down cancel, and you'll see it drop down to zero. Yes. Um, so that means I'm on map one. So then it goes back to oh, reading. Okay. So it's, and I can do this as I'm going. Okay. Um, so I hold cancel, and then I go up one. That's map two. Right. So right now I'm map banking three. around like a thousand, okay. and then I hold it down again, and I go up one more, and that's map three at around thirteen hundred. I see. And I gotta turn traction off. Completely. Okay. And I'm gonna, Quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's map one. That's that's around that's 800. Map, that, that was 800. Yeah, that's around 800. Holy shit! So okay. boost kicks in around like 4500 okay. RPM. Uh, yeah, I got rolling anti lag. Right. These turbos suck like at uh, lower RPM. Okay. Until I hit around 4500. It's a four one. It's a four one as well. So it's a stroker kit. <laughs> the fastest car I've been to was my friend's. Actually, it could be your Evo too. My Evo? <laughs> your Evo was making 700 horsepower wheel. Yeah, 7, yeah. 7 yeah. to 8, between 7 and 8. Yeah. So Patrick also has a 700 horsepower Evo. Do you still have that? Evo, Evo 8, yeah. 05 yeah, yeah. Evo 8. Getting yeah, trans work. Trans? Yeah. What happened? It just broke. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna what? go into details because it's Yeah, no, let's not go into details. But... You do traction in this? Uh, yeah. NT05s. You have 305, 305 NT05s. NT05Rs, 305 all around. Which is ridiculous, to be yeah. honest. In the rain, it's terrible. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't hit boost. Right. So I just lose traction. Right. Sometimes, even dry, I do like a second gear pull. You know, like a thousand, the thousand map. A thousand map, yeah. yeah. But it's great to drive, like every day. Yeah. Like I drove this for two weeks when I first got it because my daily was in the shop. Yeah. So I had to drive this to like work, and like in the rain, it's kind of cold. Like it wasn't even summer yet; it was spring, so like it was still cold in Michigan. So right. It started. It took. It was kind of hard to start sometimes. It just took a while to warm up, but once it was warm, it's like no problem, no issues. Drove exactly as it does now. And Cause you're on E85. Right? I'm on E, yeah. Right. But it's flex fuel, so I can put pump in it. Just okay. I'd rather not get on it when right. I put pump. It just the tune's not really. In case of emergency. Yeah, just in case of emergency, I can put pump. Right. It's just it's still fun. Like even it's quick when I don't even hit boost. Just because of the four one, the motors in itself is pretty. Sounds great. Yeah, it does. And it's. Uh, and I should strap a microphone in the back. Yeah. Actually. 
as usual, this is kind of out of nowhere, last minute. Hey, this Patrick, let's check his car. <laughs> to hear it from the outside, like to get footage, you should try and get footage from the outside. Yeah. It's like, it sounds like a jet engine because yeah. of the turbos. It's just like so loud and like the spooling is nuts. That's the crazy thing about GTO though. It looks like from far away, it looks like a sleeper stock GTR. Yeah, stock, yeah, yeah. And then you get closer, and you got NT05, which is basically like drag rate, drag and also, and then yeah. like 1300 horsepower. Yeah, I know, it's great. So crazy. It's unassuming, right? People don't really know. It must be about a thousand feet away. Okay, so here's a thousand map. It's like being a roller coaster. Yeah. This constant acceleration. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You can probably see us go like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, this was shit on my Evo. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Do you know what the ETS kit cost with the turbo and the. For the turbo kit? I think it's the, retailed at at least 20 grand. Yeah. So the guy, so Chris put about. And he has all the receipts for it. About, I think at least 120k, 125k in, mod, in just mods. Jeez. That's not even with the car. Yeah, right, right. right. Just in parts. Just in, just in parts. That's crazy. Yeah. That's but Chris, that's... now Chris is the guy who you guys probably see it on Instagram. The green Lambo with the blue Velos uh, wheels. Okay. It was at is at Texas 2K. Mm. So that's what he bought after. I bought this car. After he sold this car, he bought a Hiroshian stock. Right. That, um, it's a Lambo, like the green is like a special edition green Lambo. Yeah. And uh, had it sent to a shop to get twin turbo for Texas 2K. Is it UGR? Not racing? UGR, no. no not UGR. I, think, I think it's Dallas Performance. Okay. But I never heard of it. Within that. like the week, again. Like this oh, car. Okay, so he bought, bought the, the car and then after a week of driving it in stock, he like sent it off. Because he wanted it, he wanted it done for Texas 2K. That's crazy. And his, I think right now his setup makes around nine on the Lambo. Nine thousand, right? Nine hundred. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, with Lambos, it could be nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, how does it feel to be in the car that was driven by Paul Walker or owned by? I forget Paul about it all the time. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, like it's. I have the stock seats. I mean, people were like, "Oh, do you keep the you keep the stock seats that he sat in?" Yeah, yeah so put it I put have... it in like a vacuum pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put it in a car museum. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What are these seats, by the way? These are super. These are Technocrafts um, carbon fiber carbon seats. Carbon fiber seats. Yeah. Super thin, super light. But yeah. the padding, like people ask me, like, "Oh, these must be so uncomfortable." But the padding is like really good. I mean, for the price that you pay for them, like they better be. But yeah, what they awesome. are, they're really actually comfortable. Yeah, it looks so frimsy from outside uh -huh. when you sit in them, it's actually really stable. Apparently, like Chris was telling me that if you if we were gonna do if we did that thousand horsepower pass in those stock GTR seats, yeah. like you feel a lot less comfortable because you're just like swimming in the seat a little bit and the okay. way the seat doesn't hold you under those G's right. is like so poor that like it's kinda sketchy. You don't feel like you're engaged. Sure. Um, it's more designed for. I mean, it's designed for speed, but also comfort. Yeah, too, exactly. Seats. Yeah. These yeah. seats are more like the way they're mounted and the way that they kind of hold the, your body. It's to handle like be able to keep you in your seat and you're not feeling like you're swimming around. Yeah. Right. I'm, oh, it's right here. Yep. There goes my daddy. 
<laughs> Slow wagon. Oh, there goes the ramp. There goes the ramp. Oh, he scraped. The ending video. So unfortunately, it started raining. So we're gonna have to finish the GTR review video. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued, two. yeah. It was just kind of out of nowhere time filming, which is, <laughs> which of course more often than I like to. Spontaneous filming. Yeah, spontaneous. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll go for a ride again in his GTR. At 1300. At 1300. Yeah, today we didn't even hit 1300 horsepower. It was 800 and, and 1000. 1000, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do 1300 again. Because 1300 in rain is no good. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> and peace out. And my Bye, support friend. crew over here. Bye. Bye. And my daily.